Emergency responders rushed to the scene of the Williams Natural Gas Facility in Bayou Black near Gibson before noon on Thursday after an explosion rocked the area. 32 workers were at the facility when the blast happened. 19 were independent contractors, 13 Williams employees. But we are monitoring the plant uh, on, you know, on a steady basis, and uh, we're all working. Uh, we're in a life-saving mode right now. That is where we're at to go in and rescue the, the bodies that are still in, in the facility. And then after that point, we will go in, uh, do another search of the facility, uh, put out. The, there's a small fire in there right now. It's a little residual sludge tank that's burning. We'll put that out, and then we'll come up with a cause of, of, of what happened in the plant. The search and rescue for the others went on for hours. No natural gas was flowing at the plant when the explosion happened. It was undergoing routine maintenance. No homes were evacuated, and there was no threat to neighbors. It, it was a pretty serious explosion, it looked like, with no natural gas flowing through the facility. Are there any early indications on what may have caused something like that? I'd hate to speculate on what was going on. We will thoroughly investigate and determine the cause. Will you call in any outside partners to investigate, uh, too? Federal regulators are on their way now. Can they get to the facility with the fire yet, or have you all been able to get there yet, or is it still a hazard with the fire and smoke? At this point, we're still being, we're at the control plant with the control center, and we're waiting to uh, address that when we can enter the, enter the facility. And the three bodies have been removed. The names of the deceased, like I said, not yet released. And it could be days before investigators can get to this actual explosion scene, given the heat and the damage caused. But once again, a full investigation is about to start in the next couple of hours. Reporting on your side in Terrebonne Parish, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.